Elizabeth City woman has been wanting to be whole for 19 months. That's when her bullet ridden car was taken as evidence by the Elizabeth City Police Department in a horrific triple murder in December of 2021. Now she argues her car was not essential to the case and complained for months to get her car back. She felt the police department was giving her the runaround. So taking the advice of her father, she contacted Ted on your side's Andy Fox. This is Jade. December 2nd, 2021, she was in a car right here. Next car over, three people right next to her would be gunned down and killed. Around 5 p.m. that night, Jade Stone ducked for her life. I look across the street and see a guy with a big gun walking across the street. Jade shows us what she did when she heard massive gunfire. I go over like this and I hear the gunshots. It sounds like somebody's repeatedly just punching my car and punching it and punching it. This is what Jade's car looked like before and after the shooting. There was a can of formula in my back driver's side seat with a bullet hole in it. So that's where my head would have been if I would have thrown my seat backwards instead of diving sideways. Elizabeth City Police took Jade's 1996 shot up Toyota Camry as evidence. We keep it 19 months, which Stone thought unreasonable, unnecessary, and insignificant to the prosecution of the case. What does them examining my car have to do with anything? You see the bullet holes from the outside. You can clearly look at that and tell. There is no reason y'all should have to hold my car for two years. Needs her car, but still doesn't have one because she can't afford it. My dad bought it and painted it. It's sentimental. That's why I want my car back. I don't care about the holes. They can be fixed. My dad's a mechanic. Jade complained to police, claims she got the runaround. My dad told me that a couple of years ago, he had known you would come out and you would investigate things and try to get answers for the people that kind of are being overlooked. That's when she called 10 on your side. We went to the Elizabeth City Police Department and to District Attorney Jeffrey Cruden to get answers and to get back Jade's car. Cruden emailed us. Yesterday was the first time my office made aware of this situation. Discussed with the police department. After consideration of facts, my office authorized release of Ms. Stone's vehicle. We then connected Police Chief Phil Webster with Jade. Just to let you know that we are releasing your car. Did, did you hear what he said? Yes. <laughs> I, oh my God. Well, your persistence has paid off. The evidentiary value of the, of the car, as far as continuing to hold on to it, there was no use, there was no use in that. Chief Webster also acknowledged issues in this case. It is their property, and I think we always need to, to keep that in the forefront. That you know, This is personal property owned by one of our citizens, and we need to treat it as such. Chief Webster added, I think there was a disconnect between my department and the district attorney's office about this piece of evidence. I think what it all boils down to is, is a lack of communication. And after 19 months, Jade has her car. She fondly calls Miss Betty. Hey. It feels like one of my other kids are home. Like. <laughs> Both sides credit 10 on your side for connecting the dots to get this resolution. And I think you are very valuable in this. Um, again, I mean, I just hate that um, any citizen has to go all the way to the, to the level of contacting media to get their property back. What did 10 on your side do in this? Uh, y'all made that possible. You made them actually want to put forth the effort because before y'all got involved, they, like I said, they didn't care. They didn't care about the little guy until you guys made them care. I feel relieved, honestly. It's kind of like a big rock lifted off my shoulders. It's 19 months and then I call you guys and it takes all of two days.